As a Windows Phone champ, I was recently given the opportunity to upgrade to a new phone that has all the sensors that we support in Mango. In return, I was asked to make an augmented reality sample that we could use to show how cool Windows Phone is. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could make augmented reality simple for everyone? So what do we mean by augmented reality? Well, let's start with a map. Here we've got a map with uh, houses A, B, and C on it. And we've had maps since Windows Phone 7. One of the things that's new in Mango, though, is the gyro and the compass, which lets us see the, the direction that the user is actually facing. So let me turn on this layer. And now you can see the, the heading that the user is actually facing. Now with this kit, I can have either the, uh, the heading indicator rotate, or I can actually have the map rotate. Okay, but this isn't augmented reality. Augmented reality is putting something virtual on top of the real world. So let's turn off this map and this heading indicator. And instead, turn on the 3D view. And there's house B. As I walk down the street quickly here, see how uh, house A and house C are real close to each other, but as I get closer, the label for house A actually starts to move along with the house. And standing next to it, you can now see house C down there, house A right there, and house B is down there behind the van. So this is cool, but it's not really useful. Let's take a look at a useful scenario. So here I am in a parking lot a few miles down the road, and I'm running a second application written on the same framework. Now this application, instead of displaying static labels, pulls down information from Bing for all the restaurants nearby. Now Bing gives me the name of the restaurant, the type of food that they sell, as well as the average user rating. So here, for example, you can see El Palenque Mexican Restaurant uh, with a pretty high average user rating. And then over here, we've got McDonald's and next to that Wendy's. Now you can see Wendy's is smaller because it's further away, but as we drive closer, those labels will get bigger until we eventually pass the restaurants. So what do you get with the kit? First thing you get is expression blend support, which means you can literally build an AR app with your mouse. And the second thing you get is a set of pre-built layers, like the video preview layer, which shows the camera, the overhead map, the heading indicator, and world view, which shows everything in 3D. And how hard is it to use the kit? Well, it's easy. All the sensors are handled for you. You can drag and drop your design, then all you need to do is add data. In fact, you can write an AR app in as few as six lines of code. So where do you get it? Well, we're starting the LCA process right now to get this up on Codeplex, but until then, you can contact me, Jared Benz, and there's my alias.